Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet Deadlocked. Uh, yeah, you didn't see this on the channel yesterday, because Paranormal Activity made a return. But I'm back, and I'm getting ahead in recording this time. <laughs> Not that you'll know. Today we're going to Serathos. Not bad, I guess. We've cleared the Dread Zone Station in Catacrom 4 so far. And we've got a fair amount of bolts, I guess. Let's go. Yep. Don't know if there's going to be a cutscene or not, whatever. Uh, the balance was good last time, you guys said, so I'm glad about that. And I just had to do a little bit of editing for the one really quiet cutscene. But today, hopefully that won't happen. Welcome back, Dread Zone fans. Have we got a show for you. On today's episode, Team Darkstar has been dropped onto the hellish alien world of Serapos. Their ultimate goal, destroy a monstrous alien creature known as the King Leviathan. And take it from me, people, monstrous is putting it nicely. So I'm not the biggest fan of this there stage a in general. Up ahead. That is your first objective. Be careful, the outside is heavily guarded. Thanks, Captain Genius. Hunter Mine Launcher is pretty good. And the Shock Mod, I don't really use very much. But uh, I'm going to use the Magma Cannon for a little bit. Just because it's kind of nearly upgraded. And then I want to upgrade my Dual Vipers again. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to... Dude, you already you told me that like a million times. I'm going to put the Napalm Mod on it. Seems good to me. Because you can only use that with explosive stuff anyway. It's pretty good. Anyway. Magma Cannon should upgrade soon, hopefully. Hopefully. You never can know for sure. This should probably do it, though. Please. Yeah, there we go. Magma Cannon up to level 3. Now it does 100 damage. We got another speed mod. And next I'm going to use the Dual Vipers. I'm going to get a little bonus snippet of commentary here from the announcer. Folks, what is this sneaky Lombax doing behind the arena? This could be nothing. It's nothing. He's getting ammo. There you go. <laughs> so, you know, they just hide a couple little Easter eggs in the game, even if if you want to call that an Easter egg, but it, I mean, it totally is. You can order a bot to hack into one of those orb locks. Yes, yes, I can. So I'll have him do that while I go this other direction. I also have stuff to kill. There we go. And he'll just finish both of those off. I'm gonna go around on the other side as well. Well, they got the door open. Now let's find out what's waiting for them on the other side. Yeah, let's find out. Looks like there could be something back here, but there turns out not to be. Okay. Oh yeah, those things just keep spawning while the things are while the bots are hacking. But we got it. Let's get all the bolts and see what's on the other side. Like you said, these enemies are pretty easy, so that, that's all good. We're almost up to our, you know, big attack, the whatever it's called, with the bots. Oh hello. Don't know if I'll be able to kill this or not. The acid doesn't seem to do anything to it, as far as I know. I don't think I got it. Oh, goody, the swamp is up next. Oh, I love this part. Okay, he loves this part. Maybe I will too. I guess he's not going to say anything. You can see our objective is locate the puma, which is, I guess, the uh, bike thing. Oh, no, no, the puma is, there's another type of vehicle. As you can see there, I want to buy ammo. Dual Vipers. And of course, we'll also be doing the Dread Challenges here. Because wow, you gotta do all of them. One. One false move, and those alien suckers will be eating your head for lunch. Mm, well, actually, you don't have my to. My mother but. used to serve Lombax brains for breakfast with eggs and salsa. Mm -hmm. bueno. Yikes. I, Remind me never to eat at your house. I couldn't hear what she said. But whatever. Stop attacking my bot, you jerk. This is almost upgraded, and then we can start using the Hunter Mine a little bit. Which is pretty good. It's, it's uh, definitely 
definitely a usable weapon. All the weapons are pretty usable, though. Run, See, that run, one's a uh, uh, money one, the bolt one. We're definitely going to get that. Gotta get all the bolts you can! Regardless, there's almost no way I'm going to be buying the ultimate weapon in this playthrough. Unless I just stop buying anything else. And that's not happening, because the other stuff's pretty awesome, too. That's what the Hunter Mines do. When stuff gets within a certain radius of them, they just home into it. And uh, they explode and, you know, normal stuff for that kind of thing. Ooh, one shot. A double swing shot. I cannot bear to look. <laughs> Clank, you have no faith. Come on, shoot the EMP, you fool. Thank you. Oh, you didn't do it. Oh my god, you failure. And this thing has like infinite health compared to my hunter mine damage. <laughs> it almost upgraded it fully. Well, that explains everything then. Oh, you don't die from that? Come over here, please, so my hunter mine can go after you. Can I push it? No. Alright, start hacking. I'm sure something will spawn. What other weapons do I have? I have the B6 Obliterator. Why don't I use that a bit? I'm sure the magma... Napalm, whatever. I'm sure that'll kill the small enemies at least. See? I don't even have to worry about it. That spawns stuff back there that... I mean, I don't know. I don't even have to kill it. Because I can just get to the... See? Like, I couldn't even kill that if I wanted to unless I waited a really long while. Now we have to get into In the order arena. To advance to the Leviathan Lair, Team Darkstar must capture three control nodes. Yeah, okay. So we take this thing and tells us how to control it. We can run stuff over. Like, we don't even have to shoot it. We can just run it over and it'll die. Or sometimes it will. Oh, fine. Anyway, I like to go right to left because the arena is on the left anyway. Okay, there we go. Why don't you turn this bolt crank for me? I also like to do this not in my vehicle, because the vehicle is really garbage compared to being on foot. But I'll do it the way it's intended. Just because... Oh, I can't even go over that freaking bolt. That's a heal pad thing, just so you know. We land on him and he explodes, sure just like in real life. Okay, let's go get this node. Okay. Well, I don't care if I take a little bit of damage anyway. Why am I going backwards? Does this thing have, like, recoil or something? Or it... I don't even know what's going on. Whatever, we're done with that. Come on, kill it. Whatever, get the heals. Try actually getting the heals. There we go. Don't care if I end up not killing stuff, honestly. Oh, look, a challenge, technically not really. As you can see, it died very easily. And so will all these things. I don't even bother shooting most of the time. He's completed the third stage. It's kind of worth killing stuff, because I'm pretty sure you still get your nanotech uh, experience. But at the same time, you don't really need to worry. Anyway, you see that I did position myself. In such a way that I could go right there after completing things. So, there we go. Hack the orbs. We are now in the final moments before the epic showdown with the King Leviathan. Team Darkstar must hack all the orbs to wake up that big fella. Happy hunting! Mmm, I am breathless with anticipation. Sure you're not just breathless because you get to sit up here next to me? No, but that does explain why I'm feeling nauseous. You know... 
I didn't think I bought Shield Link because I didn't want to buy Shield Link. Because the thing about Shield Link is, yes, it protects one of your bots, the one doing the action, such as uh, hacking or whatever, from getting killed, but it means that you have to wait. So you can't have both of them hacking at once. Which, uh, well, that's unfortunate, because I'd want both of them hacking at once because I don't really need them to protect each other. Because I'm doing fine, for the most part. Oh, wait. There we go. Stop attacking. I'll kill you now. Thanks. Good job. P6 Obliterator will upgrade very soon, and then I'll switch to uh, the Hunter Mines. Please die. Oh, whatever. If you want to take it this way, I will upgrade the Hunter Mine Launcher now. See? Not even hard. You think you think I gotta work for it, but I don't. 160. Now I have rather than 120. Pretty good. One B6 Obliterator ammo. Good. Hopefully that upgrades it. I guess it won't though. Oh look, we've got the big Leviathan that then killed me. Ratchet, keep moving and jumping. So now we have to do that all over again. I just didn't realize that they had finished hacking, so... Maybe what I need to do is save this uh, ultimate attack. The Beta Ravager, or whatever it's called. Until... Uh, we get the thing spawned, and then we just bust out with... Uh, let's use the Dual Vipers. Bust out with uh, the Beta Ravager, and uh, just hopefully do a lot of damage to it right away, and hopefully I can dodge more successfully because I just didn't realize that it had spawned yet, so I just ended up being dead. But, yeah, that's the uh, that's the trouble with hero difficulty, four stars. Is that stuff kills you really easily. <laughs> Which, I guess it should, because that's how difficulties tend to work. Stop attacking my buddies, man. Leave them alone. Thanks. Thanks for the ammo as well. Oh god, there are a lot of you people. What do you mean, you people? What do you... anyway. Almost done hacking, just one more, so now I need to start paying attention. It has spawned, we use the Ravager. That does a fair amount of damage to it, I assume, at least. Hunter mine it. Is it gonna chase me or no? Because it seems like it won't. Let's finish off this ammo and then we'll move on to something else. Oh god, that was kind of scary. B6 Obliterator. Has a pretty low rate of fire, unfortunately. Hopefully it does enough damage at 250 since its last upgrade. Oh, cool, it did. And it got about half of the way up to the next level. Got our green metal. Cable launcher. Cool with me. And we got a skill point, of course. We unlocked the next planet, of course, as well. Well, maybe not, of course. If you want to gain more experience or earn more bolts, you can return to any challenge you have already completed. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So as you can see, we're still on four-star difficulty. Let's do these. Another hover bike race. Yeah, thanks. So, as with before, I'm just going to go through every single one of these. Uh, and it's going to be a little bit confusing about where I'm supposed to go. But we'll probably be fine. I might have just lost uh, any chance of getting a speed skill point or something, but I don't know. I don't really care that much. Because like I said, I'm not going for skill points in this game, and there aren't collectibles in the same way as uh, Platinum, Titanium, etc. Bolts, so I guess I'm just playing through the game. But that's fine, because in Tools of Destruction, we're back to the normal Ratchet and Clank formula. And that's one of my favorite Ratchet and Clank games, for sure. Okay, that counted. It's always good. So I'm excited to get to that game sometime in the near future. 
course after this game and then after uh, some other Let's Play. Alright, we did that. Didn't get a skill point, don't really care. Swamp Fever. Oh, good Land Stalker. Yeah, we just gotta kill stuff, pretty much. Not too worrisome. Oh, they have a little more health than I was planning on them having. This will be scary. They do drop ammo still, and since this game didn't give us all of our ammo for free, well, this will be our chance to restock, I guess. Remember, like I said, you do want to just uh, jump around if you want to move faster. Man, you guys have way too much health. I should maybe... Good. And we've killed 7 out of 23. That's not that many. But this is the last mission, and it doesn't matter how long it takes, really. I'll just... If Ratchet can pull this one out, I will shave this gorgeous head of hair. Right. Like that rug is really attached to your head. Excuse me, Miss Smarty Pants. This is not a wig. Here, take it by Paul. Here. Oh, now, tell me that doesn't feel natural. Nice. It's amazing what they can do with hair plugs these days. Well, she's a nice lady, clearly. Hopefully that was, like, audible. Because otherwise it sounds like I just wasn't talking for no good reason. Which I like to imagine was not the case. Never know. Alright, we're at 14. Let's collect stuff. 60,000 is not bad. Come on, keep going. Lots of enemies over here. Unfortunately, three each doesn't kill them, which sucks. That would make this way more convenient, but if you only target one at a time, you can kill them in one, one go. Like that. Yep. Oh, look, money. Grab it. See, this is just slow going. I don't like the vehicle levels, challenges, whatever you want to call them, but they must be done, as it turns out. Well, they maybe not, but I'm doing them because I'm going to complete every mission. You know, you think you're hot stuff. But now you're dead. Two more. One more. He's in the... Oh, okay. Never mind. That was it. Now we're done. Next time we'll go to Kronos. Hope you guys are still enjoying the series. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.